because we ain't got a lot of money, right? But it's one of those things that you just let it happen. If you just let, we were created to grow. Look at the sisters right here. See the little babies? They don't think they babies. Them little babies, you know they babies. They, they don't grow, them little, see them little babies? But they're girls, they don't grow hair on their face. Even when you look at a baby boy, they don't grow hair on their face. But as for the men of the Lord, we're supposed to have a beard. Because guess who else has a beard? Our Father in heaven. He has a beard. Christ has a beard. That's what they plucked off his face. You understand? You you, you understand? All right. You listen. Do you understand? All right. I got you, brother. Watch this. Read this. Watch this. So in the process of time, things happen. God said that as a curse, we're going we to we gonna discontinue from our heritage. Right. Right? Let me show you the heritage. Get Sirach 24 real quick first. Let me show you that the, that the law is our heritage. We don't know that. We think heritage is greens and, yeah, and hog mogs and, um, yeah. Come on, listen. Say God said it will be a curse. Yeah, to depart from our heritage, yes. Right, and the reason why is because man always rebel. That, uh, rebel against who? Against rebel them, against what? Against, against God. Against God's laws. That's right. That's right. Watch this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. Uh -huh. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Read. Even the law. Even what? Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage unto the congregations of Jacob. So Jacob is Israel. Jacob's name was later changed to Israel, right? So the laws that we're reading as it pertains to, go back to the law, as it pertains to shaving, folk fences, it's many more, right? The laws as it pertain, the laws that pertain or that is our heritage is what man rebels against. Like you said, it's what man rebels against as to why we were scattered, why we went on the slave ships, why we had to suffer such things as fighting for civil rights, why we had to suffer those things. It's because we rebelled against the laws. We rebelled against our heritage, right? Watch this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse five. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Now we're in Leviticus. Leviticus is the Levitical priesthood, right? They are who established the laws of God, right? God sent, commanded Moses, right? Moses taught Aaron, right? And the Lord taught Aaron also. And he commanded it to his sons, right? And all his sons were to maintain the law in the earth. So us being discontinued from that was a curse. Let's get Deuteronomy 28. 64 real quick. It's unavoidable. So Deuteronomy chapter 28 is a book of curses that will befall our people if we rebel against God. Like you said, if we rebel against God, start at verse 15. Watch this. This is the if book. We rebel, I'm sorry. If we rebel against God, this is all, all this is what will happen to us. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you won't listen, right? If you will, if you will not listen, read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Nobody's going to out overpower these curses. Nobody. Not now one of them. LeBron James, right. Oprah cannot overcome these curses, right? They money can't save them, neither can any man save them. Martin Luther King tried, that was the civil rights era. They killed our brother. Malcolm X tried, they killed our brother. We know that based on the way the world thinks, anytime you stand up for what is right, you can wind up with a hole in your head. Right, but, 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 why, but why do we gotta fight for that? Because we left off from our heritage. Right. We left off from our heritage. Otherwise, we were meant to rule the earth. We just read it. Go back to Deuteronomy 7 and give me verse 23. I'm going to show you something. Matter of fact, Jeremiah 1 and 7. What's your question, sis? But what, see, I was told that. But what color is Jesus? Jesus is black. Yeah, I know. Okay. Jesus black, black. Jesus right. black, black. We're going to get that in just a second. But I need, my, I need the son of God, right, to understand who he is and how to get back right with God. Watch this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 7. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. Uh -huh. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Watch this. Be not afraid of their faces. 
for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So God said to the Son of Man, He's put his words in our mouth, right? To teach, right? Read on. I just wanted to point to, uh, he set us over the nations. Verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. So what does it mean when the Lord, what, what did it mean for the Levites to, to, or for us to know God's laws? It means for us to be over the nations. Right. Read it again. I'm going to show you and then I'm going to connect it back to what the brother was bringing out in Deuteronomy 7. Watch this. Verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. So we know, like you said, we know that we are not equal. We're greater. God said it's in the Bible. It's even in the Quran. It's even in the Quran. We are the chosen people, the real chosen people of God. That's right. right. It's in the Quran. Watch this. Read. They still hate us. That, 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 that hatred for us is in there also, but come on. Where we at? That's it. Go back to Deuteronomy 7, verse 6 now. Then jump down to 23. I'm going to show you something. I want you to understand your power is not in anything on this earth. Your power is in keeping the commandments of God, right? Fearing him. And that's what make you better than the nations. It's not enough that you just know God created me to be better than the nation. You got to know that and do that. Be that. Yes, that's right. That's right. So you're going to grow your beard. You're going to stop shaving your beard. I decided to grow up here. I don't know. Right Come on, now. that's not hearkening, sir. I know. You gotta hearken to the word. Right. You you know it, but I get it. It's gonna take some um, it's gonna take some repetition. And you know when the Lord, you know what the Lord do to make us listen to Him? Spank that behind. That's what the Lord do. That's what the Lord do. That's why when we when it happened, we cry, "Why Jesus? Why Lord?" That's Him chastening. That's Him whooping our behind. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So remember, we just read in, 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 in Jeremiah that, that we, I mean in Leviticus, that by keeping or in keeping the laws of God, shaving our face, is what makes us holy. He says we are to be a holy people. That's a commandment. It's not a choice. We are to be, if you tell your child, you are not to leave this house tonight. You are to be in this house before the, uh, before the, uh, what they call these things? Street lights. Before the street lights come on auto, so you are not to steal. You are not to run out in the street without looking both ways. Those ain't suggestions. He better do it, or you gonna do what? I'm gonna chastise. You gonna chastise him. This is what the Lord, this is how the Lord is dealing with his sons. That's why it is that we gotta fight for civil rights. We went into slavery to a man, to a people weaker than us, lesser than us not equals with us. That's how that happened. Watch this. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. What makes us special? God chose us as his people. Nope. What makes us special is everybody shaves, but God's people don't. That's, right. That's what makes us special. All the people's women wear pants, but ours don't. That's right. They're modestly dressed. Modestly dressed. Right? Get, what, what else? Everybody, people celebrate false holidays That's that are not written in the Bible, commanded to keep, like right. Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Thanksgiving, That's right. Halloween. Bring it out. But we don't. Right. That's what makes us different. That's what makes us special. That's what makes us holy. Watch this. Romans chapter seven. Romans yeah. chapter seven. Watch this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove it again in the New Testament. Because. A lot of times, a lot of establishments like this, unfortunately, we love our people, don't get it twisted. However, these establishments were set up by the same people who understand you will never overcome them as long as you're in sin. As long as they can teach you that you do not have to obey God. That's what they tell you. You can obey God however you feel like obeying him. That's what they tell you. They don't tell you you're gonna die if you, if you don't stop shaving. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you you're gonna die, sister, if you don't stop wearing pants and dress like a princess. That's right. They don't tell you that. They say it's okay, God ain't that serious about what he commanded. Bring it out. He playing games. So you can play games. That's what, that's what they teach you. The law is done away with, right? Right. We hear that in there, do we not? Teach. 
You know we do. <laughs> but watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Read. Where you at? Romans 7. Watch this. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 7 and verse 12. Yeah. Wherefore, the law is holy. So the law is what makes us holy. Remember he just said, thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The law is what makes us holy though. Right. We, everybody don't shave their beard. I mean, everybody shaves their beard. We don't. Right. Everybody's women wear pants and tights and all that stuff outward. Our women don't, they modest. Right. They, say, right. they, they save those things that are precious on their body for their husband in privacy. Right. 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 Imagine that. Imagine that. What? Watch this. And the commandment, holy. And the commandments of God is what's holy. <clears throat> That's what's holy. By the way, it's nothing, it's nothing holy about a cross, by the way. Bring it out. Right. Nothing holy. All these churches, the holy cross, all that stuff, that's all demonic. That's, right. that's the worship of our Lord being put to death. That's what that is. Jeez. Not the resurrection. Right. You understand? Not the sacrifice that he made for our sins. Meaning, we have the chance to get ourselves together because we left off from keeping his laws. We sinned against our God. Right. His death and resurrection is why we're able to repent now and not be put to death by, by the Levites, not be stoned to death. That's called grace. Right. They're not teaching us that. They say out. continue in sin. That's right. what they say. But we're reading and we all like to go back to, um, go back to um, Deuteronomy. They teach us or we all like the part where we say we, we, we are holy people. We are great people. We above everything. We like, yeah, black power, black is beautiful, all of that. But what makes us beautiful? Look around. Is this beautiful? This is called ghetto. That's right. It, it, by definition, you can Google it. By definition, ghetto it means a place where the Jews dwell. Right. Right. But guess what? Where are the white people around? When you go to, when you go, no matter where on this planet you go, you see these type of places, and they're full of our people. They don't put it on TV. That's right. They don't put it on TV, it's hidden. But we travel all over the world and we see for ourselves where our people live and it looked just like this. I see a brother over in Iran or a brother in Palestine look just like my brother sitting there right now. And he's suffering the same curses we read about in Deuteronomy. He's suffering the same way. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. For thou art holy people. So what make us holy? We'll make us holy. Come on, we just read it. Go back. We'll Watch this. You got okay, you got it? We'll make us holy. Keeping God's law. Come on. That's, That's what, I'm what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Keeping God's laws. And guess what makes us greater than all people? Right. Keeping his laws. You see that? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.